Meghan and Harry share sad news mysterious in Botswana. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex hold this close to their hearts. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex received some sad news. After it was revealed that more than 360 elephants have died from mysterious causes in Botswana. Africa holds a very special place in the couple's hearts. Meghan and Harry took their first trip there together back in 2017. To work with Elephants Without Borders a charity which helps prevent elephants from being poached and killed for their ivory tasks. It is also where Prince Charles took Harry and Prince William after the death of their mother Princess Diana in 1997, in a bid to help them with their grief. According to reports, hundreds of elephant carcasses have been found around waterholes in the southern African country. Dr. Niall McCann, Director of Conservation at UK-based charity National Park Rescue, told the BBC that local conservationists first alerted the government in early May after they undertook a flight over the Okavango Delta. They spotted 169 in a three-hour flight, he said. To be able to see and count that many in a three-hour flight was extraordinary. A month later, further investigations identified many more carcasses, bringing the total to over 350. He added. This is totally unprecedented in terms of numbers of elephants dying in a single event unrelated to drought. The Botswana government is testing samples from the dead elephants but is yet to determine a cause of death. Last year, Botswana lifted the ban on elephant hunting, which was first introduced in 2014 by former President Ian Kama. However, lawmakers from the ruling Botswana Democratic Party lobbied to overturn the ban, because they believe that the number of animals became unmanageable in some areas. Botswana has the largest elephant population in Africa and have over 100,000 roaming freely in the country's unfenced parks and open spaces. Prince Charles launches a stylish scarf to celebrate 10 years of sustainable fashion initiative. Just last month, Prince Charles unveiled a sustainable clothing collection. This scarf has Prince Charles' royal stamp of approval. Queen Elizabeth's eldest son and heir to the throne celebrated campaign for Wool's 10-year anniversary by conceiving a scarf to showcase the ecological benefits of wool. The $220 garment, designed by Amy Powney and made by Johnstons of Elgin, comes in three different color patterns, and is made from wool from the UK, Australia, South Africa and New Zealand. All funds raised by sales will go to support apprenticeships and the Prince's Trust's Future Textiles Initiative. It is important to remind people of how valuable and sustainable wool is as a fiber and as a natural material, Prince Charles, 72, said. Wool is a product that the most brilliant boffin in the most high-tech laboratory could never create. He added, wool's sustainable and biodegradable properties provide a unique natural option for us all to reassess for environmental values and purchases. We need to put nature at the heart of how we operate and to evolve our economic model putting people and planet at the heart of global value creation. The only limit is our willingness to act, and the time to act is now, and we can all make a difference. The campaign for wool was launched in 2010 to educate consumers about the benefits of wool. Promote wool-rich products to a national audience and help grow the wool industry. Run by a coalition of industry groups convened by Prince Charles, the campaign works to engage consumers through exciting fashion. Interiors, artisan and design lead activities centering around Wool Week each year. Just last month, Prince Charles unveiled a sustainable clothing collection featuring 10 women's items and 8 for men. The Modern Artisan Project, a collaboration between the Prince's Foundation and Yoke's Netta Porter, sought to promote high end textile skills among young craftsmen. More often these days, the repair of an item, Prince Charles said. I have always believed in the buy once by well philosophy, so the more I wear them, the more sustainable I hope I become. And the Royal recently spoke about the fashion sector's role in conservation with British Vogue editor Edward Eninful. I'm one of those people who hate throwing anything away. Hence, I'd rather have them maintained, even patched if necessary, than to abandon them, Charles said. The difficulty is, as you get older, you tend to change shape, and it's not so easy to fit into the clothes. He added, I can't bear any waste, including food waste, I'd much rather find another yours. Which is why I've been going on for so long about the need for a circular economy, rather than a linear one where you just make. 
take and throw away which is a tragedy, because inevitably we overexploit natural resources that are rapidly depleting. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.